everybody, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to understand uh, a very popular interview question nowadays, finding the duplicate occurrence of a string. So it's a very popular coding interview question nowadays. They'll uh, give you uh, to solve it, and we're going to solve it over here by using Java. All right. So first of all, uh, they'll give you a string like this. Let's say string str equal to I am am learning Java Java, right? Let's say this is your string, right? So you can see there are few words over here that are appearing multiple times, right? M M uh, then Java Java. This uh, these are occurring multiple times, right? So if you talk about over here, I, this is occurring one time and aim is occurring two times and learning is occurring one time and this Java is occurring uh, two times, right? So over here, you can see this aim and this Java is occurring two times, right? M M Java, Java. So you need to only display M and Java because they are occurring multiple times. You don't need to display this, all right? So first of all, how to do that, okay? How, how we can solve this particular program. So first of all, I'll suggest you to stop this video and for think for a bit, okay? And just, uh, just, just uh, try to think, okay, how can you solve this? Now let's go ahead, okay? All right, so first of all, uh, here, one thing I'm gonna do first. First, I need to separate all this uh, word over here, okay? I am, uh, this am learning Java and Java. I need to separate all these things, okay? So to separate all these things, uh, I'm gonna use a split method in string API. So over str, I'm gonna use this method split. And how I'm gonna split it? I'm gonna split it by using the space. So uh, let's say I'll do this and here I just given a space. So now I'm just going to split it where there is a space, right? So after I there is a space, so it's going to split it over here, okay? And this is going to return me a string array, let's say S. Now this S is containing all this one, right? So I am, am, it is just come like this. I M, M learning uh, Java, Java, right? So I got all my words over here, right? Okay, great. All right, so now I want to insert this particular things to a table, okay? So I want to, I want to maintain a table over here with key and value. The key, I'm gonna take as a string. Suppose this I, I'm gonna put I over here and I'm gonna maintain how many times they are occurring, okay? So for an example, over here I, before I insert this I over here to this table, I'm gonna check either there is I already present over here. Right now in this table, this is empty. There is no I present over here. So I'm gonna insert I over here and I'm gonna update the value as one because there is no I present previously. So the uh, I is occurring only one time. So now I'm gonna insert the next, uh, next element over here. This is M. So N is already there. No, it's not there. Then insert it and give it a value one. All right. Now the next thing is again M. So I'm gonna again check over here. Is M is already there? Yes, it is there. Okay, if it is there, then update the value by plus one. So one plus one, now the value will be two. Okay, so again, uh, the next uh, word over here is learning. So let's, uh, so before entering learning, again I'm gonna check. Is the learning is present over here in the table? No, so let's enter it and let's give it a value one. All right, now again, Java, Java is already there. No, it's not there. Then enter it and give it a value one. Now the next element is again Java, but Java is present over here. So just update this one to two, all right? So this is how I'm gonna maintain a table over here. And from here, I'm gonna fetch how many times are these particular words are occurring, all right? But how I'm going to solve it? So to solve it, I'm going to use a hash map here, right? Think about your map. Your map is also maintaining a table, right? Using key value pair. Let's say this is the map object, right? And using this map table, 
uh, I can solve this particular program by using the put method and get method. For putting, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use put method and to get the value, I'm going to use the get method, right? So how to solve that? Now let's go to the computer and let's see that. All right, All right guys. So now let's say it practically, right? So I do have a class over here called duplicate string and I have a main method, right? So I should have a method over here. Let's say find duplicate uh, word. Okay, let's say I, I should have a method like this and I should pass a string over here. Let's say I am, am learning Java, Java. And now this particular method should say me that dude, this aim is appearing over here two times. This Java is appearing over here two times all right it should give some messages to me like that all right so how to create a method like this so let's create a method over here uh, let's say find duplicate word and this particular method should take a string as argument so let's say string str I should keep a body open and close let's say this particular method returns nothing so I should make it void and let's make it static so that I can access it without creating an object right now the error is gone okay so now there is no implementation with this right so let's start scoring with it so first of all whatever string I'm getting over here uh, I mean this is the one that I'm getting with this str so now let's split this str so I'll say str dot split and I'm gonna split this by using a space right and I'll enter a semicolon and let's store it with a string array. So a string, let's say string s equal to str dot split. Okay. So now it's going to split everything where there is a space. Okay. So to view this, I'm going to use a for loop so that I can loop over each of the uh, each of the word that present over here in the string with the string array. So I'll say here string and temp string and i'll put this variable which contains all of my string array right i mean all my string right so i'll put s over here and if i'll do a sys out over here if i'll print everything then i should get all of my string over here so if i will run it okay so let me do a right click run as java application proceed and there you go so I'm getting all my string over here I am mm, learning Java and Java right okay so I don't want to print this thing just for debugging I have just printed it so what I want over here is actually uh, I want to insert all the uh, string that I'm getting over here to a map okay to a table I want to maintain a table so for that I need to create a map right so let's create a map over here let's say hash map and my key should be a string as we have discussed and the values should be an integer so let's say integer here and hm equal to new hash map and there you go so I have created a map so what I want to do over here I'll do hm that put so each time you loop over a string I mean each time you have a string you enter the string to the map right and update the value as one or just give it a value as one okay so right now uh, i have inserted uh, you know whatever the string i'm getting over here i've inserted it to a map called hm right so if i'll just uh, print if i will print the map uh, variable over here then i should get all these values like this but see now we have a problem now all these map variables is just showing us one so java is one learning is one m is also uh, occurring one time so why it is doing this because uh, for each of the duplicates so whenever a map is getting a duplicate uh, key it is just again updating the value to one all right so that's why we are getting all the values over here as one so we didn't want it right so before we insert a value to our map, we need to check, okay? We should check whether this particular string is already present inside the table or not, okay? So if it is 
present then that's a duplicate and if it is a duplicate we need to add one to our previous value that is hold okay so what I mean by that so I should have a if clause over here I should check if hm.get if my map is containing a key already all right and if this key is not equal to null see if the key is equal to null that means that's not a duplicate right that means is that key has not been inserted to to our map right that means this particular clause should execute this particular line should execute but if the stem string is not equal to null that means it has some value and if it has some value let's update that value to plus one right so how can you do that so hm dot put and here uh, let's uh, give the same key over here temp string and the value here we need to update it by one right I mean we should uh, do plus one to our existing value so how can you do that uh, we'll do hm dot get get the value which is available right now with the temp string and then with this value add one over here okay so there you go and put this thing with the else clause so if i will do like this then that's ready right now i'm printing my map over here again so if i run this application right now you can see it's just showing is java is two times learning is one time i is one time and m is two time right this order is not important because in a map you cannot predict the order all right but this is not what we want okay so what we want is we should only display those particular word or those particular string which have a value uh, more than one I mean which is a duplicate okay if it is a duplicate its value should be more than one right over here Java is a duplicate and M is a duplicate right so how can we do that so for doing that uh, what we need to do I don't need this line uh, I just have written it just to show you okay so to view all the duplicates over here we need to have all the keys of our map and using this particular key we can check either our key value is one or greater than one if it is greater than one then that's a duplicate so for this I'm gonna use iterator okay so I'm going to say HM which is my map object dot key set which will give me only the key and I'm gonna run an iterator over it and I'm gonna store this uh, with a iterator and uh, let's uh, give it a type called string because my key is of string type and let's say it temp string okay so there you go so my iterator is ready right now let's iterate over each of the temp string okay each of the key so I'm gonna have a while loop over here while just a minute uh, let me type it again while and I should give it a body let's open and close and in the while loop I should check whether any other element is available in in the iterator and if yes just give me that particular string okay so I'll, I should say temp string dot next okay so this next should give me a string so let me store it over here string let's say temp all right so once I get this particular string so this string is a key right I need to check whether the value which is associated with this particular key is one or greater than one if it is greater than one that's a duplicate I want to display it if it is not greater than one then that's not a duplicate so I don't want to display it so to do that what I'm going to do over here I'm going to make use of a if clause and if the key hm.get of this key temp is greater than one if it is greater than one then only I want to display this right so I'll just have a simple print statement and I'll say the uh, word and I should uh, write temp because that's the word appeared 
and I should say hm dot get of key temp number of times, right? Number of times. All right. So right now, let's run this application. So you can see right now the word Java appeared two number of times. Okay, let's let me give a space over here and let me run it again. And there you go. So the word Java appeared two number of times and the word M appeared two number of times. I do have some typos here, let it be. So I'm getting my duplicate in the output, right? So let me try something else. Let me say uh, something different. Let me say I M M M A A quarter. Okay, so there you go. So here M is appearing uh, three times. A is appearing. There is two space here. Okay, and A is appearing two times, right? And this quarter is one time, and I is one time. So if I will run it, we'll get the word A appeared two number of times the word m appeared three number of times right so there you go so, all right guys so this is for how we can find the duplicate occurrence for a string and how we can display only the duplicate element right and what about if i want to find the duplicate occurrence of a character in a given string all right so we have to do the exact same thing so that's a task for you you have to do it okay but let me give a little bit of clue to you right so let me uh, copy this and paste it over here again just to save some time and let me say it not word uh, let's say find duplicate characters okay and you let's say if I'm going to give a duplicate character like Java J2 EE now this particular method should tell me how many times this J occurred how many times this a occurred how many times this v occurred and this e occurred as well right and it should only display the uh, characters which are duplicates right so for this again i need to create a method so let me do some part of it for you guys so let me open and close it and let me make this method uh, static void and this method should uh, accept a string, string str, and you have to do the exact same thing. But only one thing is different. You need to get each of the character over here. Instead of string, right over here, we, we used to do, we used to get all of the string. We have to split, right? But over here, we're not going to split. We're going to get the index. Uh, and using the index, we are going to get all these characters over here j a v a and all these things right so let's see how we can do that so for this i'm going to use a for loop over here so i'm going to do it really really quick right so i'll write int i equal to zero i less than equal to str dot length and i plus plus and over here i'm going to do str dot caret and i'm going to use the index uh, I so I is right now zero. It'll, it'll fetch the index which is of zero, and it'll just give me a character. So there you go. And once you get the character, you can do the same thing. So right now, what I can do over here, I can create a map. So I can write, create a map like this, has map, and I'll take character, and for value, I'm gonna take integer, and Let's give it a reference sm equal to new has map. All right, so now let me enter this one hm dot put, and you can see, you can do c, and the value can update to one. But before this, we need to check right. So we need to write a if clause here, and inside the if clause, you have to check it whether this particular value that you are inserting is already available or not. Sorry, uh, you need to get it. And there we go. And you have to use the C. If the C is present, so if the get of C is not equal to null, here you need to do what? HM.putOff. You have to put the, the character here and the value, we have to update it. HM.getOff. 
CR uh, and you have to update it by one right so there you go so it's ready so right now if I'm gonna print it are going to get all the duplicates element and all your elements which has been there in a map so you can see all right so before we run it I skip the else clause over here so let me put it over here and there you go right now if I do a right click run as and run as Java application click proceed and there we go so you can see in your Java J2E J appeared as two times E as one time and E as two times and A as two times and all this right so right now we can do the exact same thing that we have done it for the for this particular method you can write the exact same iterator over this method also so you can write the exact same iterator over here in this method uh, to display the only duplicate characters all right so that's it for today thank you very much for watching and still if you have any doubt put it in the comment i'll get back to you and i'll assist you on that thank you very much guys for watching have a nice day and bye, -bye.